Hey guys, I'm ZSH Plays. Welcome to a very special Planet Zoo tour. This is Rose Lake Zoo 1940, built by JP. It is one of my favourite zoos that I've ever seen in Planet Zoo. So strap in, we've got a really long tour today, but I really think you're going to enjoy it. Let's go. Oh my god, how cool is that cityscape? We're in Rose Lake Zoo, we're in America, the year is 1940, and we are about to see something very cool indeed. I have followed this zoo since day one on JP's Discord, and it is just absolutely amazing. I'm so excited to finally be in it. It is finally finished. I should say this zoo is heavily modded. I never use mods on this channel, but I've had to install about 20 of them to get this to work. I'm perfectly happy to do that, to see something as amazing as this. All the modded animals have been removed, um, uh, just for me. <laughs> Thanks, JP. But all the scenery mods are still here. I know nothing about mods, so I don't really know what any of that means. Um, I just know we're about to see an amazing zoo. So, I've got no idea where I'm going. I've probably seen almost all the builds in this zoo individually. But I've never been in it before. I don't know what the layout is. But I can see an absolutely amazing looking reptile house up here. This is drac quality reptile house. Absolutely amazing. Let's get in there first. Reptilia. I like that. Looks like this building was designed by Stanley Wolf. Nice doors. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god, this is so good. You really feel like you're in this building. It's so immersive. I don't know where to go next. Let's, uh, okay, so we've got some exhibits here. Gila monster, red-eyed tree frog, vegetable, animal, mineral. Oh my god, I just want to go everywhere at the same time. Let's go through this door first. Galapagos giant tortoise. I love these lattices in the background where you can see into the next part of the zoo. That's really nice. So here they are. And a perfectly sighted little bench where you can sit down and watch them. I like this protection for the trees as well. Nice. Very nice. What have we got down here? Wow, this is big. Oh, looks like we've got some crocs in here. That's the saltwater crocodiles. Really nice, like that waterfall as well. And these palm trees. Oh, the building's open. It's like an outdoor part of the building. That's really clever. This brings us back into the entrance hall. So we've got some snakes down here. And lizards and frogs. Got a door through there. Let's see what's on this side. Ooh, Nile monitors. Wow, they've got a big habitat. I love those tree branches. Oh, there we go. What a gorgeous habitat. I'd be very happy to live here if I was a Nile monitor. No guests in the zoo, by the way. Uh, as you can guess, this zoo is an absolute beast. And um, I'm struggling with the frame rate, even with the zoo empty, so... It will just be us and the staff having this tour today. I wonder what's downstairs. Is it just a staff area or are there more animals down here? No, we've definitely got some more animals down here. Spectacle caiman. Nice. Look at the rock work. That's very cool. And we've got, <laughs> I like the fire alarm there. Got another habitat here. 
Oh, this glass is great. This sort of little half height bit of glass here. All the American alligator over here. I love how there's no barriers. Oh, that's so cool. What an incredible habitat. You could do stuff like this in the 40s. Like, I mean, you couldn't fall in, could you? You'd have to want to get in. And back in the 40s, that was fine. If you want to throw yourself in, hey, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> I love that. Oh, wow, and this whole habitat is glass. Oh, we've got like an underwater forest thing going on. I love a flooded forest, you'll know if you've watched my channel. So, oh, is this the same that we saw outside? Maybe it is. I don't see any in here. So I'm assuming this is the same habitat that we saw outside. I think there's one. Yeah, there's one you can just see up there. I don't know if we're going to be able to make that out once this has been uploaded to YouTube, but uh, I can see it here. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. All like the pipes and stuff and the electricity uh, cables or whatever they're called when they put them behind bits of metal and run them up the walls. Oh, this is amazing. Wow, I really enjoyed that down there. So let's go and check out the birdhouse next. Saw that away in the distance. Oh, we've got some habitats around here as well. Sable antelope. I have never used these guys. Ah, warthogs as well. It's like a African savanna sort of exhibit. <laughs> so ugly, but so cute. Oh, we've got something interesting looking over here. He's just absolutely nailed the vibe perfectly here. Not that I've ever been to a, a zoo in the 1940s, but I've seen a lot of photos and I've seen exhibits in zoos that were built back in the 1940s and yeah he's really got this down I just keep wanting to go everywhere at once but let's head on into the birdhouse wow <laughs> ducks oh, I really want ducks in the game now <laughs> And then, oh my god. This is so cool. I'd almost be happy if Frontier added prop birds like this into the game, you know? Even if they didn't do anything. It just gives you a whole new area to explore. Look at this. It's just amazing. Oh, it's a free-flying Avery as well. That's brilliant. All this giant row of Averys down here. So many different types of birds. And we got more on the other side as well. Oh, we got some cranes in here. Paddling about. Oh, this is absolutely beautiful. Let's see what's through this door here. I'm going to get so lost in the zoo, I can tell already. <laughs> I don't have the best record of finding my way around zoos on these tours. Oh my god, the small mammal house. I've seen shots of this before. I absolutely love it. Some proper modernist construction. Definitely going to check that out. I think this path just curves us round back to where we came from. Well, that looks interesting oh that's a big zoo sign okay ha, we got a train as well JP shared a, uh, a video of the train ride um, which was all sort of filtered to look like it was filmed in the 40s it was absolutely amazing we may take the train ride at the end of the video I think oh this anteater habitat's great oh this is gorgeous How is he? Is that a mod or just something way cleverer than I've ever thought of? Love that little fence there. Yeah, let's check out this incredible small mammal house. We've 
we've got a hall of insects as well. Oh, just the architecture here is unbelievable. I'm pretty sure JP's designed everything in this zoo himself. It's influenced by classic zoos, mainly classic American zoos, I think. Uh, but I don't think any of these buildings are actual sort of copies of existing buildings. And they are so well done. Oh, I love these murals. These must be, I think these are part of the Africa mod pack. I think I've seen those before. But yeah, there's going to be some empty um, habitats. Oh, but this one isn't empty because I've not got any of the mod animals. Oh, I love this. I do have a soft spot for zoos like this where the animals just don't really have enough space um, just because the, the viewing for the guests is so much better. Not that I'm suggesting a return to that style of zoo. <laughs> oh, everything in here just looks great. This must be the insect hall. Yeah, we've got some scorpions there. Oh, I can hear a cyanang somewhere. You can always hear the cyanangs. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter where you are in your zoo, if you've got cyanangs, you can hear them. Binturongs, one of my favourite animals. Nice. I like the old technique of a small habitat and then you just some sort of paint a background on like, hey, it's really big, you can see trees in the distance, even though they've just been painted. Oh, that's clever. Fire extinguisher as well. Raccoon. I would love raccoons in Planet Zoo. Capybara. Oh my god. <laughs> what a hideous habitat. Those poor guys. But yeah, this is the 40s. And you do get a good view. <laughs> Wolverine, a possum. This is a big, big place. Okay, well that was very cool. Let's see what we've got next. See a nice, really classic little habitat over there. I love the city in the background of this zoo. It just makes such a difference. And JP's really gone to town on this. He has not just thrown in a couple of um, apartment blocks off the workshop. He really has built a whole strip of city. Ah, oh, this building is amazing. This building is based um, I think, if I recall correctly, partly on the old Lion House at London Zoo and partly on the Gorilla House at London Zoo. This part is certainly inspired by the Gorilla House and uh, aptly enough it has gorillas in it. What a gorgeous building. Wow. I love that. Let's go and see the front of it. So this is the primate's house. It's not just for gorillas. Way too much space for gorillas for the 1940s. You've got to cram a load in here. I like how he's got the names of presumably sort of the benefactors of <laughs> the uh, various different houses. Oh, there's the Siamang. Oh, with the tiles in the background, I've seen habitats like this. They, uh, these curved windows are really nice. But yeah, just no attempt whatsoever to provide a sort of natural environment for the animals. It's just like, what can we do? Tiles, tiles are good, we'll have tiles. I just stood about there. Not a lot of space for those poor guys. And then I think, yeah, this is some more viewing for the gorillas. Gorillas have actually got a pretty big space by the standards of the time. I think if I'm uh, correct, it was actually Beezy who built the inside of this building. Another one of my favourite builders. We've toured one of his zoos before. I'm going to be touring another one of his zoos very soon, which I'm looking forward to. Yeah, JP built the outside of this building and maybe sort of the, uh, you know, this more structural kind of stuff up here. And then the habitats were built by Beezy. So we've got some mandrills over here and uh, Bonobo's over there and Chimp's over there yeah you can get so close to the animals in these old zoos oh that's so cool 
unless you're one of the chimps of course <laughs> yeah this is a really really cool build let's see what we've got on the other side over here so let's go around this way I want to check out these classic sort of circular habitats there oh, you can see them through the windows so we've got a row of cages there and then oh, this has been roped off maybe these places are empty yeah they need some work I love that I love the fact there's a row of cages with nothing in it that's been roped off that's just something I'd never think to do to to make something um, build something just to be empty that really adds a sort of layer to your zoo because there's always at least one habitat or set of habitats that have got nothing in it because they're in the middle of redeveloping it or something yeah that is an amazing build what do we have here this could be uh, have we got like a little a little area for the guests here oh yeah a little playground all your wood chippings an old playground for the kids picnic benches for the parents I like the use of those Phoenix Fox statues as well cut some swings that's really cool oh it's some sort of big glass house over there let's see what this is a crooked cabin <laughs> Oh wow, look at that, that's brilliant, round here, let's see what this big glass house is, oh a butterfly pavilion, that's cool, that's another thing that's really common in zoos, oh wow, that is amazing. Oh, I like he's used the leaves effects to sort of simulate butterflies flying around. And then there's actual little butterflies here as well. Oh. That is gorgeous. Let's take this XX. I want to see what those circular things were. Okay, let's see what's in these. These are really nicely done. Ah, capuchins. There they are. Nice. And we've got another one here. For the black and white rough lemurs. Very nice indeed. Let's go and see what that massive building around here is. Okay, so this building is the birdhouse that we just walked through. <laughs> but what I didn't realize is on the other side of it, we have a big watery lake sort of habitat here, which I'm assuming is for flamingos. So we'll go and take a look at that. I love how that building is kind of pink. Like a flamingo, I would never occur to me to make a pink building, but it looks really nice. Oh, we need to check this out later as well. There is an aquarium outside the zoo, which I'm excited to see. I've seen a lot of that on Discord. Wow, what a beautiful flamingo habitat. Love it with the fountain in the middle as well. I see some more mesh over here. A river otter, okay. I wonder if that was a mod or if you used to use the, uh, the small clawed otters instead. I think the American river otter is very similar to the small clawed otter, just a slightly bigger. Yeah, there we go. That's a great little habitat for them. I love this sort of suspended wooden uh, plank bridge that goes above the water. Really nice. 
Okay, so back at the front of the birdhouse, we're going to go this way this time. Um, we'll see what we've got down here. I think we've got pandas looking at those statues there. Another little food court there. Oh, I love this wooden structure here. A little step going up to it. Ah, oh, red pandas. What a gorgeous habitat. Wow, I love that with the rocks in the background. Amazing viewing of them. <laughs> Chumps are so weird in this game. Okay, that was really cool. I love that habitat. I've not seen that one before. Got a really big habitat here. Uh, which path shall we take? Let's let's go this way first. Getting ever closer to the beautiful city in the background. It is so detailed when you looked at it. We got the um, Orpheum uh, Cinema, I presume there. And, ah, okay. We've got the Scimitar Horned Oryx here, and Japanese macaques. Like that random combo. Great rock work. So where are the giant pandas then? Are they in this habitat? Wow, that's gorgeous. Oh, okay, and this is Lima Island. Australia house in the background and here is the Australia house oh, okay so we got some cassowaries out here love the edge of that pond that's really cool and then we got something else over here kangaroos Got the burrowing cockroach here. I always forget they're Australian. There's one. And a platypus habitat. Wow. Oh, you can make some crazy habitats for these guys with uh, with mods. <laughs> Get him waddling along into his burrow. Tasmanian Devil. I think that's the most requested animal in Planet Zoo now. And then maybe this leads out to the kangaroos. Oh. Oh, Sue Peel has some nice education. Somewhere for the guests to sit at the crazy mecharoo. <laughs> wow. I've never seen that moving before. I think I accidentally clicked on it once. Not as far as I got. That is, that is pretty cool though. Wow, like a Terminator kangaroo. And then the real thing out here. Nice. A tiny koala habitat here. I'm pretty sure the uh, actual requirements, space requirements for koalas is about this big even today because they basically just don't move um, if you've got a tree to sit on basically you've got a happy koala tree kangaroos that would be really cool to have in the game and wallabies uh, I'm amazed we don't have wallabies to be honest wombats another this is basically just the uh, the wish list from the forums in uh, <laughs> building form isn't it some more exhibits over there and now we are back at the canal and we've got a big habitat here for rhinos I love how industrial this looks cool 
cool. I can hear elephants as well. I'm assuming this is the zoo's elephant house here. And here we are. Here in the elephants. I like the enormously fake trees in the habitat. That's very cool. Got another sort of garden thing here. I don't know if that's part of the butterfly habitat, maybe. Got a walkthrough gate in it. Maybe we can actually get in here. And wow, it's a walkthrough with pea fowl and tortoises. That's really nice. that that is beautiful oh, amazing work if you're enjoying this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos i would really appreciate it thank you god i hate saying that <laughs> see a bit more of this elephant house yeah i love this habitat a giant barn in the background for them as well the size of that. Wow. We've got another little habitat here. I think this might be that meerkat habitat. Oh, giraffes. Oh, with a big African style thing with another enormous set of doors for them. I think that's the train. <laughs> Oh, this is gorgeous. Okay, so back around this way, I just realised there is an indoor part uh, of where the elephants are, uh, which we're going to go and check out now. This is really nice as well. So yeah, we go in here into the pachyderm's house. So I think we're going to see some cool stuff in here. More gorgeous rock work almost like a brutalist kind of building but it's been softened by the fact that it's all made from the temple rocks that is gorgeous i need a new word <laughs> who's built this place jason fishington oh wow that is a hell of a barn oh is that a hippo yeah i think we've got hippos over here as well huge double fences to keep them in We've got a hippo having a little sleep there. Wow, we've got an elephant here. I've got these. I wonder what these are. Are they like air conditioning or something? Air filtration, maybe? And then we've got the rhinos over here. I wonder what we do you have here? Pygmy hippos, maybe? Ooh, tape here. Cute. That is a very, very cool animal house. So I've seen um, some sort of, I don't know if it's a mountain or an arctic area, something like that here. So we'll go and check that out. Now oh, we've got some camels there. But yeah, let's check out this cold area. Oh, wow. Polar bear. It's almost like a giant bear grotto. Oh, we've got grizzlies here as well. Look at all that rock work. Wow. Big lad there. Big moat to keep him in and double fences. Need to... Uh, Needs to be careful when you're keeping grizzly bears, I guess. And then we've got black bears in here. Oh no, some bears. Another lovely habitat. And oh, good timing. Underwater viewing window, and there's a polar bear right there. Two polar bears. I'm just running out of words for this zoo. It's so good. So the plan for this zoo 
is that now that JP has built it as it was in the 1940s, he is now going to renovate the entire zoo, I believe, to set it in the modern day. So we're going to see what this zoo looks like in 2022, or at some point in the 21st century anyway, which will be really interesting, seeing what he does with these habitats and how you can change them to um, sort of meet modern welfare standards. So up here we have the North America Trail. So this continues on directly from the bears. Uh, we've got a moose habitat here. Look at that. Big old barn in the background. Really cool North American feel here. I bet we've got some wolves in here as well. Some goats. <laughs> Bald eagle. I think we've got a fallow deer in there at the moment. And we've got some ibex over there. I imagine these are all stand-ins for whatever American animal would be here. Oh no, it says alpine ibex, okay. Got a real Yellowstone feel, this area, which I really like. Got American bison there. Ah, yeah, here we go. A wolf habitat. Timber and Arctic wolves. I love this little trail. Really immersive. Feels completely different to everything else in the zoo once you get into it here. All the trees sort of keeping the rest of the zoo hidden. And oh, nice. This is my kind of habitat. Get the white concrete out. African penguin habitat. That's absolutely gorgeous. Oh man, I love that. I'd happily steal that and put that in one of my zoos. It's probably better than my penguin pole actually. <laughs> well, I think we can get into the aquarium from there, so let's do that. I'm guessing this wasn't built as an aquarium. It was built as a big waterworks, and then the zoo has sort of bought it and taken it over. That's really cool. I don't know how much we'll see in here. Obviously, there's a distinct lack of any fish or things like that in Planet Zoo, but um, we'll take a look because just look at this building. Oh, wow. This is very cool. Okay, so we've got some bird props in here, aquatic birds. Ah, we've got the crested newt in here, so we do have at least one animal to see. Although, of course, we can't see it. That's just behind that plant there. Um, and then, yeah, we've got some little bird props in here. I wonder if they'll ever make a planet aquarium. That would be a fun game. Oh, that's cool. Dolphin pool. Okay, well, we're definitely not going to see any dolphins, but let's have a quick look at the pool and see what we can see. Oh, nice. That's really cool. hoops to jump through there all right that is everything on that side of the zoo but i just discovered this there is a tunnel to the next part of the zoo and we've got more animals to see here so let's head under here and find out what's there all right so ah uh, this is where the zoo keeps its big cats so we've got lion tiger and cheetah down here This is where the train, you can see it there, the train running past. So we've got a little habitat here. Maybe for one of the smaller big cats. Oh, a cheetah. Oh yeah, there's one up there.
getting a bit short-changed in the space uh, stakes there, the cheetahs. Oh, unless this is also part of the habitat. No, this is for tigers. So we got Bengal tiger up there. He's coming to say hello. Big old pit there to make sure he doesn't get too close. And then we got lions here. These old grotto style habitats. I like the rock for them to uh, get some shade under. Not sure where the lions are though. I imagine there's an indoor viewing for them as well. This must be the indoor viewing for the big cats. Looks like this is the end of the zoo as well. We're into the city over there. Lion house. Oh yeah, this looks like the old London Zoo lion house a little bit. I've seen photos of that. Oh, so we got links in here. And then, okay, there we go, there's the lion. Somebody needs to clean this habitat. <laughs> clouded leopard here and then there would be an ocelot here that'd be a great addition to planet zoo's lineup i think and then there's another cheetah there yeah that was cool how close you can get to the animals in there all right well i've just had a look and we did miss one animal there are giant pandas here we're going to go take a look at them now just past the sloth bear habitat which I didn't bother looking at because I don't have any animal mods installed there is the giant pandas a beautiful habitat a moat pandas those buildings in the background that is really nice I think that is the perfect place to say goodbye to this incredible zoo Thank you so much to JP for sending it to me. I'll be back very soon with a tour of a zoo from another one of my favorite creators, which I've been looking forward to doing for a long time. So thank you for watching as always, and I will see you then.